Hansel and Gretel, a fairy tale by the Brothers Grimm. There once lived a poor woodcutter, his wife, and his two children, Hansel and Gretel. A great famine spread over the land, and the little family starved. The wife moaned in defeat, Husband, take our children deep into the forest and lose them there so that at least we too will survive. When the children overheard this, Hansel comforted his little sister. Don't worry, Gretel. I'll collect moonshine pebbles and drop them as we walk in the forest. All they had to do was follow the line of pebbles home. Their father rejoiced on their return the next morning. Still, the stepmother groaned even louder. Take the children deeper into the forest tomorrow. This time, Hansel and Gretel dropped breadcrumbs to make a path, but many hungry birds in the forest ate up all the crumbs. The stepmother's dreadful wish was finally fulfilled. After three days of no food, something wondrous happened. A white bird led Hansel and Gretel to a little house made of gingerbread with windows made of melted sugar and decorated with small cakes. As they hungrily ate the house, they heard, Nibble, nibble, now nah, what is nibbling at my little house? The children answered, The wind, the wind, and went on eating. The voice was that of a wicked witch who had built the little gingerbread house to entice children so she could eat them. After tricking them with good food and a soft bed, she locked Hansel in a cage. She made Gretel a servant. Serve your brother more food so he will get fat and I may eat him, she'd order. Every day, the witch asked Hansel to stick his finger out between the bars so she could feel how fat Hansel was. Luckily, she had poor eyesight, so Hansel tricked her into thinking he was thin by holding out a little bone instead of his finger. The wicked witch grew impatient. Gretel, heat up the oven. Fat or not, I will feast today. But just as the witch bent to check the oven's temperature, Gretel pushed her from behind and locked the oven door. The children filled their pockets with the witch's jewels and fled from the little gingerbread house. In time, they managed to find their way back home. Their father was overjoyed. Children, I'm so happy to see you, but we still have no food, and your stepmother has died of hunger. They showed their father the witch's jewels. Thanks to the clever children, the little family never knew hunger from that day on and lived together in perfect happiness.